What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel So today we're going to take a look at some brand new things you can do in FIFA 22 Some of these things as well are pretty hidden So you might not know that you can actually do this Or the fact that it's even in the game But let's go for 2000 likes in this video, that would be amazing And of course, to check out the last one that I posted just a few days ago With a lot of brand new things you can do in FIFA 22 as well So uh, yeah, you can click the i button to watch that Or wait until the end of this video So you can click the end screens as well uh, But I recommend to check that one out before you watch this one But let's get right into it, but the first thing you can do in the 15 and 2 that is quite hidden on the game and that is the iconic Laporte celebration uh, this was of course added into 15 and 2 as you guys can see if you score a goal with Laporte uh, you can go over to the cameras and yeah pull out his uh, weird celebration which uh, yeah I think um, I think it's pretty difficult to do if you if you attempt it yourself. So we're just gonna leave that to Laporte right there. Uh, but you can do that, of course, in FIFA 22. Uh, there's also a couple of brand new goal kick cutscenes that also happens a few times. They've added a lot of those into FIFA 22. Some of them are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, sometimes you're gonna be seeing that. Uh, in offline the gameplay. Uh, we also have something called the, the no look shots. Uh, but pretty much, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, uh, pull off like a no look uh, animation when you shoot the ball. I don't know if this affects the shot or whatever, but all you have to do is pretty much hold in the L2 button on the PlayStation. I believe that is LT on the Xbox when you hit the shooting button and it's going to be doing a weird animation like this. So yeah, a pretty fun little thing there in a FIFA 22. We also have a new late winner celebration. This is now Lewandowski. As you guys can see, that is uh, Lewandowski's signature celebration there, which they added into this um, sort of, uh, yeah, cinematic celebration which happens sometimes when you score a late goal in the game and then we of course have the brand new groundsman you're gonna be seeing these to people sometimes before the game begins, the sprinklers are out the people are there marking off the pitch, getting ready for the game that is also a nice new addition of course on the game and something that I noticed on next and you can really see the detail on the pitch here when you play on artificial grass or of course AG pitches as you guys can see right there we are playing an MLS game, Atlanta here against the Inter Miami, and you can really see the texture and the detail on the pitch that this is not a grass football pitch, of course, this is artificial and fake grass. Uh, but maybe it's, uh, I don't know, you, you can see sometimes like there's grass blades here flying, which I noticed, you know, should that be happening with an AG pitch? Uh, but at the same time, it could also be like a sort of a hybrid between grass and also artificial grass. I know a few uh, pitches are like that as well, uh, but you can really notice a lot of texture and stuff in the ground, and you can really feel like you are playing on a different kind of football pitch uh, when you play on artificial grounds on FIFA 22 and next gen. We also have a brand new injury cutscenes or there has been a lot of other injury cutscenes as well added but this is just one of them as you guys can see though I got injured here with Bernardo Silva and he's just laying there on the ground for uh, yeah quite a few minutes I was wondering uh, what was gonna be happening because I was you know pretty sure that there was gonna be a cutscene appearing or something but as you guys can see Bernardo still uh, Silva there is still on the ground, rolling around, not too sure when he is going to be getting up. So eventually I thought, you know what, let me just try and run into him here and see if that's going to be, uh, you know, triggering a cutscene or something because... I was wondering what is going on. He's been laying on the ground for many minutes. So here we go after uh, getting the ball to him there uh, with uh, Ruben Diaz. Uh, we are going to be seeing here a cutscene appearing very quickly. I'm not even sure if I didn't do that. Uh, he could have been laying there for like the rest of the half or something. Uh, but eventually though, uh, the referee comes over and does the check. You sh probably should have checked that a little bit quicker. Could have been pretty serious. He was on the ground for quite a long time. But as you guys can see, he's holding his knee right there. He's in a lot of pain and he's gonna be have to be uh, substituted and uh, whenever we make that substitution uh, there's gonna be a cutscene as well of uh, of course the uh, the substitution and the player running onto the pitch I wish there was something more for example you can see players being stretched off that is something that they have to add uh, for like a future FIFA game maybe FIFA 23 you see people uh, you know with the stretchers running onto the pitch getting them off a couple of cutscenes like that would be really cool uh, but yeah, he just went off there, of course, uh, but still a really weird thing that happened to me in the FIFA 22. Messi also has his unique uh, late goal celebration there where he points to the sky 
uh, really nice, you know, interactive celebration right here. You can really feel the atmosphere. Um, so that's why I really enjoy these late goal uh, winners on the game. And of course, a lot of players do have their own unique cutscenes. Uh, for that, we also have, of course, brand new player career mode. Um, you know, the, the, the cutscenes and everything. Uh, the whole player career mode has been massively improved this year. And if you guys want me to do a player career mode series on the channel, uh, let me know in the comment section down below and drop a like on this video. But it's been massively improved. Um, of course, before it hasn't been touched for like six years or something. It's been similar for so many years, but now you actually feel like this. Uh, the work has been put into this game mode. It actually feels like a game mode right now. And there's a lot of cutscenes you're going to be seeing off your player uh, during the game, before the game, of course, after the game as well. You're going to be seeing a summary right here, seven rating there, one goal as well. And then, of course, after the game, sometimes you're going to be having cutscenes from the dressing room and this. It's an incredible addition right here. Really cool. This reminds me of the journey. And I also uh, told uh, or talked about this a few months ago. Uh, with a couple of things we need of FIFA 22. And that was, you know, copy a few of the cutscenes we had in the journey. Add them into FIFA 22 career mode. And that is what they have done right here. You can see a couple of close-ups as well. Of a few accessories in the dressing room. And this is also what we had on the journey. And yeah, obviously sometimes these cutscenes as well. Depending on what actually happens. Uh, if you have won a trophy, the players are going to be bringing that trophy into the dressing room as well. So if you guys want to see that cutscene in the next episode, uh, drop a like on this one. Because yeah, there's a lot of different cutscenes you can actually get in the dressing room. But uh, yeah, really nice addition here by EA of course. And then we obviously have uh, the Guardiola celebration, which you probably have seen before. But if you haven't, Guardiola also now has his own unique celebration after the game. Of course, the club got added into FIFA 21 with his own unique celebration, which of course is done in real life. This is one that Guardiola did. It's now been added into FIFA 22. And as you guys can see, it is a pretty cool one, especially if you're going to be using Manchester City or something in... Um, in yeah, career mode, this is a really great one, of course. Uh, sometimes even this is going to be happening on online game modes. I've uh, seen this happen to me in Ultimate Team. Uh, my manager hasn't even been Guardiola, and it's been happening to me in uh, Ultimate Team as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess that this is just like a celebration for, uh, for you know, many managers on the game. But, of course, it is uh, the signature, or not signature, but it is Guardiola's celebration right there. And it's going to be happening if you use him on offline. We also have a brand new penalty sequence and, of course, animations as well. Cutscenes too, of course, after the penalty shootout is over. But you can see the players are getting ready. They are talking to the manager here ahead of this penalty shootout, which is about to take place uh, in this semi-final of the Champions League. Um, so after a couple of instructions, the players have taken some penalties. And this is how it's going. Sadio Mane steps up there. And he's had to score that one. And he has done that. Sancho now up next. Steps up. And Allison saves that one. Hits the crossbar and everything. And now the captain Jordan Henderson has the chance to win it here for Liverpool. And he does. He smashes it down the middle. And as you guys can see, this is a brand new cutscene right here. This is one of my favorite things on FIFA. Look at the Jurgen Klopp. Running uh, fast right there. This is really funny if you use for example a manager Which is like really old or something and you're just gonna be seeing them running uh, <laughs> Run outpacing pretty much all of the players um, So yeah, this is a cutscene can be really funny. I've, I've seen it go rival many times But uh, yeah, I, I like these new cutscenes as well added into the penalty uh, shoot that sequence I feel like we needed a couple of those as well uh, before FIFA 22. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to see another episode like this, let's go for 2,000 likes. Make sure you guys check out the last one as well that I posted just a few days ago. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.